Hi, this is Catcom Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to create such a part in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a fully free 3D CAD system that can be used for both hobby and commercial use. We can install this system on a company computer without any worries and we can also use this system for paid projects. And if you want to learn the basics of 3D modeling in FreeCAD then you can take part in my FreeCAD fundamentals of 3D modeling training which you can find a link to in the description to this video. It will show you step by step how to get started with FreeCAD and how to create your own 3D models. Now we will move on to FreeCAD and I'll show you how to create this type of part. Start a new project in the part design module and we will start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. And here we will draw two circles in such a way that the centers of these circles coincide with the origin of the coordinate system. Let's add the dimensions of these circles. OK. Let's close the sketch and add an extrusion of 250 mm. Now we are going to create an auxiliary sketch that we will use to create the construction planes. And we will create this sketch on the XZ plane. And here at the beginning let's create reference geometries. OK, and now I'm going to draw two lines, more or less like this. Now I'll switch to the section view, OK, and so we put this point on the y-axis. This one the same way. Next let's add the dimensions. Here 50 millimeters and here also 50 millimeters. Now let's add the lengths of these lines at 300 millimeters. OK, now I'm going to create a construction line that I'll use to align these lines symmetrically. I'll switch this line to the construction geometry and select this point, this point and this line and choose the symmetry constraint. And here I select the angle dimension and add the angle between these lines 20 degrees. OK, the sketch is created. We will use these lines to create construction planes. Close the sketch and now let's create the construction planes. Select the lines, select the point and select the construction plane. And here select normal to edge. OK. And we do the same thing here. OK, we have two planes created. I'm going to turn off the visibility of the second plane at first and on the first plane I'm going to create a sketch. Here at this point the model obscures my view a bit. We can switch to the section view and we can create a circle here. And add the diameter of this circle 25 mm. OK, and we do the same thing on the second plane. I turn off the visibility of this plane. I turn on the visibility of the other plane and we create a sketch here and in the same way we draw a circle with a diameter of 25 millimeters. OK, close the sketch. I'm going to turn off the visibility of this plane and now we add two extrusions. First we select this sketch and we select the extrusion and here we select to first and an extrusion has been created for the solid. Click OK and do the same with the second sketch. Change the extrusion here to to first and click OK. I will turn off the visibility of this sketch so that it is not visible. And now we add another sketch and this sketch we will also create on the exit plane and here we will draw two circles. more or less in this way, OK? And now we will determine the position of these circles. First I'll draw an auxiliary line and I'll place this line in the center of this solid so that this line goes through the center of this solid. 
I'll do it in such a way that here I'll create the auxiliary geometries. I select these two points, I select this line and I select the symmetry constraint. Then I switch this line to a construction line, select the center of the circles and this line and select the constraint point onto object. And now let's add the dimensions of these circles, the larger circle diameter 100 millimeters and the smaller circle diameter 60 millimeters. And here let's add the dimensions of the distance from this point to this point and here enter 330 millimeters. Okay, close the sketch, add an extrusion. Here choose symmetrically from the plane and add an extrusion for 50 millimeters. OK. And here we will create holes passing through this part of the solid. I choose to create a sketch on the XY plane. Here I recognize two edges as reference geometries at first. And now I switch to the section view. OK. And now we are drawing a circle. We can draw this circle in such a way that it's related to the x-axis, but we don't have to do that because in a moment we will add a symmetry constraint and we will place the center of this circle symmetrically between these two points and that will automatically place this circle so that it lies on the x-axis. And now let's add the diameter of this circle, 15 millimeters. Close the sketch and here we add the pocket operation and select through all and check reversed so that this pocket is made this way. And click OK and we have something like this and here we have this hole created in such a way that it just goes through the whole solid. If we would like to create this hole only in one part of this solid, for example, so that it is only at the top, we can do it this way. This part is symmetrical. If we would like a hole on one side only, then we could do it in such a way that here we specify the appropriate length of this operation and simply enter here such a value to get a hole on one side only. And this way we could leave it and that we have a hole on one side only, but we can also approach it differently. I'm going to delete this operation, delete this sketch. And we can simply create an auxiliary plane here that will go through the center of this solid. Select this face and select create a datum plane command. And here the plane was created like this. Let's add a rotation around the X axis by 90 degrees. And then we have plane that passes through the center of this solid like this. Click OK and now we can create a sketch on this plane. And here I can switch to the section view because the origin of the coordinate system for this sketch coincides with the center of this section of the solid. And here I draw a circle with a diameter of 15 millimeters. OK. Close the sketch and now we can add a pocket operation up to face and select this face and we have a hole on one side only. OK, I'll turn off the plane visibility and this is how we can approach the design of this type of part in FreeCAD. And if you would like to learn more about working with FreeCAD, you want to learn the basics of 3D modeling in FreeCAD, you can take part in my FreeCAD 3D modeling basics training, the link to which is in the description of this video. And that's all for today, thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.